Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Jan and today I want to share a crucial tip for all of you 3D printing enthusiasts, especially those just starting out designing your own parts. And if you find this tip useful, consider subscribing so I know you want more of it. When you first get into 3D printing and start designing your own models, it's easy to feel like you can create anything. You might think, I have a problem, no worries. I would just design a solution, send it to the printer and that's it. But in reality there is a bit more to it. Especially when you're making a custom solution that needs to fit a real world existing object. So today I want to help you avoid the disappointment of spending hours designing and printing something only to find out it doesn't fit where you need it to. The tip is simple, take baby steps. What do I mean by baby steps? If you need your printed part to fit something that already exists, of course you start out taking the measurements, but afterwards start printing just the small section of your model that needs to interface with the existing object. Let me give you some examples. I wanted to design a hook for my kids swimming boards that would fit onto the metal railing of a window. Instead of designing the entire hook, which would take hours to print, I started by printing a simple small piece that needed to fit the metal railing. So instead of all of this, just this little part here. I printed this part four or five times. The first one was too big, just right here. So after the first one didn't work, I kept on changing the design just a little bit until I got the perfect fit. And you can actually hear it click perfectly into place. There's a very satisfying click and it kind of stays in place. That's exactly what I want. So once you have designed it, tested it, without having to print the whole contraption. And this way you know that when you're gonna use it, it fits like you want to. Once I had this small part figured out, fitting perfectly, I used those exact dimensions on my final design. In another project, I needed to fit this flashlight precisely in the middle of a tube. So what I, what I did do is I designed this outer ring here and tested it a couple of times. Just printing the outer parameter one or two or three layers high to see what is the exact dimension that I need. And also this interface here with the flashlight, I designed it and printed it out once to see if it fits and it did. So I only needed one test before printing out this whole ring. And so I did with other parts too. So this fan duct here that goes into a cabinet uh, and it fits an opening on my cabinet that is exactly this form here. So the first thing I did is that I just printed out this little part to see if it fits. So to sum it up, why take baby steps? by printing those small parts, those small test parts first. You save time because you don't have to print a big part only to find out that it doesn't fit. You save filament because if it doesn't fit, you throw away just a little part. And more importantly, you reduce your frustration. You avoid the disappointment of having a large print just going to waste. It is much easier to make the adjustments on a small piece then after investing hours in material into large print that does not fit. So remember, if you need a printed part to interface with something in the real world, start small. Print the interfacing parts first, test it, adjust as necessary, and only then move on to print the full piece. If this tip helps you in any way, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I'd love to share more of these insights 
from one newbie in 3D printing and designing to another. Thanks so much for watching and happy printing!